Today I'm going to show you how to draw a couple of black hairstyles for your male characters. And I am working in Clip Studio Paint. And the two hairstyles I'll be drawing today are a natural hairstyle and a dreadlock style. These are a couple of my favorite styles to draw. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, first things first, what we need is some type of model sheet or some type of character drawn already so that we can draw the hair on top of him. So this is my character that I have right now. Uh, this, this guy's name is uh, Quincy. All right, so we've got Quincy here. And what I'm gonna do is draw a natural hairstyle first, and then I'm gonna go in and draw the dreadlock style. So first things first, what we have to do when we draw this style of hair is we have to make sure we have our character looking fresh and clean. And what I like to do is imagine that this character just got a fresh haircut. And so the first thing we have to draw is that hairline. This is what the hairline looks like from all angles. And what I like to do is draw the hairline as clean as possible with straight lines. Here, this is the shape that I use for the hairline in the front, the side, and back at the head. These are important if you want to be able to draw your character at any angle. And so the hairline from the front should look like this. From the side, it should look like this and the back, it should look like this. Now, of course, you can do what you want with your characters, but this is like a general guideline for drawing black hairstyles. So now that I have the hairline drawn, what I'm gonna do is start with the natural hairstyle. Just create a layer above the, the sketch layer and draw on top. So for a natural hairstyle, I like to start with a circle around the head and it's probably a little too big. Depending on what, how much hair you want the character to have, you can draw a circle around the hair, around the head of the character like this. And it somewhat resembles like an afro, but I'm not trying to draw an afro right now. What I want to do is draw more of a natural style haircut for this character. So this circle is just a guideline for where I want, how, how long I want the hair to be. So this hairstyle is just the result of the character or the person growing the hair out naturally and not really altering it too much. So after we have this circle with a guideline of the hair around the head, what I'm gonna do is add some round circular shapes like this around the head. So yeah, this is more like an Afro kind of a style. And you can determine the personality of the character just by changing the shape of the shapes that you draw around the hair. So I can do squares, square shapes like this, or the circles like I did before. But the point of this is just to make the hair look as natural as possible. That looks pretty cool. So I'll just do the same thing with these over here. To add even more personality to this character, what I can do is erase some of the hair that's on the side of his head like this. So he has more of a flat top look to it, like that. Already, he already looks like a different different kind of character. So that's a something cool you can do like that. You can just shave off the hair that's on the side of the head. And to add even more personality, what I can do is actually add, I can fade, fade the hair on the sides. So instead of him having hair on the side of his head, I can just erase all of that right there, all of this, and now he has a fade. That's pretty cool, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so after this tutorial, you should have no excuse for drawing black hair, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty fun to experiment with. Fun to experiment with, experiment with different shape languages and stuff. And so if I don't want these square shaped locks of hair, I can do, I can even do triangle or more spiky locks of hair like this.
So as you can tell, this gives a whole new personality to the character, which is really fun. And I can do the same thing, color it in, and then I can even fade the sides of the hair. So like I said, I can fade the sides of the hair. So there's no hair on the side of the head. It's fun to draw these hairstyles because I feel like a, a barber and this is my client. He's in the chair and I just get to chop him up and give him that fresh new haircut. So what's cool about this as well is that you can also add like designs in the hair too. So I can just erase parts of the hair that I want to design in. So I can do something like this. I don't know, something cool like that. Do the same thing on that side and then back there as well. But it's just cool to like cut, cut out hair and see what you can come up with. So for like, if I want to fade the hair, I, I just like to cross hatch or hatch the side of the head like that using some lines. Just gives it a little bit more styling in the hair. You can do the same thing on the side, the front and the back like this. And so that's like a natural haircut that I would like to draw for my black characters. Uh, something cool that you can come up with pretty quickly. And it also just looks really good. So yeah, I would just encourage anybody just to really experiment with, with this shape design and how you draw these styles of hair because it can be really fun. You can get really cool designs. And depending on the character, you can express different personalities. So now let's go ahead and move on to the dreadlock style. So dreadlocks are really fun for me to draw. And I like to draw them in two ways. You can either draw dreadlocks. You can either draw freeform dreadlocks or just regular normal locks. So freeform dreadlocks are a style of hair where you let the hair naturally, naturally lock up by itself. So the hair can lock up in very interesting and abnormal shapes and sizes. So to draw the freeform locks, I just like to draw some abstract shapes like this. And similar to the natural hairstyle, but this is a little bit more wild, a little bit more natural look to it. And this looks very, very interesting, right? And they don't have to be that big either. And so I'll just do a new layer. You can even do smaller ones like this all up to you and sometimes you can have them drape over the face like this and really get some interesting design choices and shapes going on like that it's all up to you how you really style your character's hair but freeform dreads are definitely really cool uh it might be a little bit difficult at first to start drawing but once you get the hang of it they're really fun to draw and really really expressive they really tell you a lot about the character who they are and so uh yeah just drawing abstract shapes to express this hairstyle really na a really natural look and i want to keep it kind of small and what's very cool as well is you can do the same thing you do with the natural hairstyle and i imagine that the dreads are just on the top of the head. So I can, again, I can fade hit the hair on the side of the head like this if I really want to and add designs. It just really depends on what kind of character you want to draw. And so, yeah, definitely go in, experiment with this and see what you like, see what you dislike. And draw some unique characters with this. This three form dreads look really cool drawing the most perfect dreads right now but as far as the design goes they're not really consistent but it looks pretty cool it looks good so same thing i'll just fade the back of the head like this and then i will color in the hair and so that is the first dreadlock style looks pretty cool looks pretty interesting and it's very it's a very fun hairstyle to draw so definitely you just got to kind of experiment with it yourself the second hairstyle second dreadlock style i want to show you just like a normal so what i'm going to do is start with a large shape for the hair 
Uh, it depends on how long you want the dress to be. You can have them shoulder length, chin length, or uh, however long you want. I just kind of want it to go down to the chin. So I'm just going to draw a shape like this. Dreadlocks are going to drape off, off of the head, and they're not going to float as much as uh, the freeform locks are. And so I want us to do something like that. And he probably has a lot of dreadlocks, so I want the hair to have a really large shape to it. So I'm going to start the dreads like this. And they'll probably have some that drape over the face too. Like that. And so what I like to do to start some dreadlocks is from that shape, just start building on top of it. Add the individual locks like this. And you can make them as big or as small as you want, depending on what you want and what you like for this character, for the specific character that you're drawing. But I'm gonna draw them pretty big, pretty large dreadlocks. And just break the shapes up into simple, almost like tube-like, shapes like this and if you want them to be smaller you just will have to you just have to draw more dreads on top of the head but i kind of just want to keep them this simple for now so i can get this done quickly and demonstrate this but yeah that's pretty that looks pretty good some simple dreadlocks he probably has around 20 big dreadlocks. If you want to make them smaller, you just do a shape like that and really go into detail with how small they are. But it's a little bit easier to draw dreadlocks if you just make them larger or make them bigger. These types of dreadlocks are a hairstyle where you do alter the hair to form lock sections of hair. And unlike the freeform dreads, they look a little bit more organized, you know? That's why it's so fun to draw these because you can express different kinds of characters, different types of personalities, just based off the hairstyle that you draw. All right, so that is the last hairstyle I will be showing you how to draw and hopefully this helped you a lot hopefully by demonstrating how to draw these hairstyles you can go and draw them in your own style and learn how to do that but it's cool because there's so many different combinations of hair you can do i could do something like this and and dread it up and it, it really makes you feel like a barber <laughs> but that's it for this tutorial hopefully this helps you create and draw some more black hairstyles and i hope that you try it out for yourself on your black characters so quincy now has four styles to choose from and uh really liking all of them so <laughs> uh yeah that's it for this video i will see you in the next one and peace out